Hello everyone, my name is Nomis and welcome to Atomic Society, the post-apocalyptic town building game where you set the laws. New game for the channel. I uh, wanted to try something else different while we're waiting for the next PZ build to drop. So let's go ahead and try this post-apocalyptic town building game. Go ahead and start a new settlement here. Uh, we will choose a male character. We got a bit of customer uh, customization that we can choose from here. Let's not spend too much time on our self, but uh, let's make ourselves a little bit unique. Give him maybe some black pants, and what kind of hairstyle should we go? Brown hair. Brown hair and a beard. You gotta have a beard in the apocalypse. And we will name ourselves. Of course, we are Nomis. And let's just randomize our second name. Nomis Zimmerman, Nomis Bell, Nomis Rock. No Miss Collins. No Miss Irving. No Miss Irving, okay. And we are going to be 28 years old. Belief system, Jewish, Mormon. We've got a lot of belief systems here. That's interesting. New Age, Orthodox, Pagan, Parsi, Protestant, Rastafarian, Satanist, Shinto, Sikh, Spiritist, Taoist, Unknown. What should we be? I want to be a pagan. The pagan heathens. All right, there's our character, Nomus Irving, 28 years old, the Pagan. Let's go ahead and set this up. We get to choose where we want to travel to. So we got the Wasteland, we got the Canyon, Dunes, Valley, Floodplain, Forest, Tundra, Iceberg, Summit. All with varying degrees of difficulty, I would think. Now, where do we want to set up our society, though? Maybe in the forest? I don't know if I want to... This seems kind of uh, typical of a post-apocalyptic out in the wastelands or the, the desert. So uh, let's try something different. Uh, I'm assuming the, the snow biomes would be the hardest, so we might save that for later. Let's let's try the the valley. Some people say a bomb fell here long ago, but it's if so, nature has already started to heal that scar. Woodland and grass now cover the region. And the bomb crater has filled with a lake of acid rain. Sure. Let's give it a shot. Atomic Society. So, I've taken a quick look at the game, so I should have somewhat of an idea of how to play. So, we've got our our leader here. Nomis. And these are all our followers. And uh, basically, uh, our leader will kind of set the tone, kind of tell people what to do, uh, what to build. Uh, we'll have to go scavenge for stuff. Uh, there's a ton of different buildings we can uh, construct. Here's our little intro here. After leaving the bunker, you have traveled to a remote area, avoiding the dangerous cities. Most of the survivors have gathered in isolated safe regions like this. Even as you hiked here, a large group of sick and hungry survivors joined you, curious to see if a bunker dweller had anything to offer. They have little faith in your vision of a new town, but they will reluctantly work if you provide jobs and lead by example. The engineers with you are wary. These people look dangerous. They say you can tell some of the survivors have grown used to anarchy in the wasteland. It won't be easy turning this group of idle strangers dead from the long hike here. Wait, what? Idle strangers missed the whole line there. Into a community. And some of them look like they're ready to drop dead from a long hike here. It doesn't matter. No matter how many die, won't let the people in the bunker be proven right. Society can be rebuilt. Alright. So. First off, let's, uh, let's pause things here so we can take a look around our map. Alright, just remember all the controls. Alright, so. A fairly big area for us to explore. As you can see, there are some structures, including uh, some wrecked cars. This one we can salvage for metal batteries, miscellaneous items. There's a building of some sort down here. Camera's are a little bit slow, but uh, we got look at some sort of wrecked building here kind of cool. We can convert some of these buildings into our own. Uh, like, if I actually click on here, there's a convert the structure into a useful building. So we could convert this into a standard size storehouse, a home, or a garrison. So not, not all structures, I believe, can be 
converted. Uh, we have things like these telephone poles, which we can salvage for lumber and metal. First uh, off, we're going to want to pick an area to kind of set up our base of operations. There's the acid lake down there. Looks like we got a, a shipwreck. A couple shipwrecks down there. So I kind of want to pick somewhere with a few buildings around. Now our group is all the way up here, right? Where's our group? Where'd our group go? Thought we were up here. Oh no, we're down here. All right, so there's our group. We got a little bit of a hike to get somewhere. Uh, over here looks kind of promising. We also got a couple buildings over here. We want a nice flat area to start off. So let's just take a look over here. A couple more buildings on the far end of the crater. Uh, that's a uh, that's a big building. A mansion. I'm kind of thinking this might be the best area right right in here. This is pretty flat, and there's a, a few buildings. Yeah, so we got this building here. We got a car there. Yeah, let's uh, set up over here. So, let's convert this into a storehouse. That'll be the first thing to do. And then we're going to need to go get some materials. So what all do we need to do this? Uh, I probably should have paid attention there. Anyway, let's just send our, our people over there. Maybe they'll auto try and salvage some stuff. We could... Um, Salvage this car along the way, maybe. But let's uh, speed things up here. Our group will slowly follow us wherever we go. So we're just going to hike over there. And then we'll figure out if we need to. Oh, I took control of the character there. Didn't mean to do that. Um, let's reset this. Hold on. Um, Alright, let go of my character. Head back over here. Alright, lend a hand and back we go. Let's let go of our character. Speed things up. Take him a while to run there. We will probably lose a few people right off the bat. I've got some stragglers here. I wonder if these guys are old. Are these are the old people. Let's take a quick look. Um, where can we see the information on the characters? There we go. Oh, these are kids. Six years old, ten years old, eight years old. Homeless, suicidal, Jesus, a suicidal eight-year-old, homosexual, uh, no personal issues. I don't know why they uh, list that as a personal issue, though. That doesn't quite seem right. <laughs> okay, let's continue on here. Everyone just leaves the kids behind. How nice. No wonder that kid's suicidal. He just got left behind. Okay, so apparently we didn't need any materials to start this off. Uh, so he's going to get this storeroom built before everyone else gets here. And we can start kind of picking through uh, some of the ruins around here. Yeah, there they are over there. Taking their sweet time. We'll probably check out this uh, truck over here. Probably dismantle um, some of the telephone poles around. We need a name for our town. Uh, too bad we can't do random. Uh, I am not feeling very creative at the, at the moment, so we're just going to call this Gnomusville. There we go. I am a god. Okay, so let's 
go salvage this car, get some materials. Let go of our guy, take a look at our storehouse. Attempt to deposit all resources into the nearby storehouse. Okay. Oh, no. Wait, what are you doing? Hold on, hold on. You don't have any materials yet. Go salvage. Uh, hold on. All right, let go of the guy. It's going to take me a little bit of time to get used to all the uh, controls. Okay, so here we can go. We're salvaging lumber, metal, masonry. Leader's inventory is full. So let's drop stuff off in here. Where's our group? They're just down by the trees, slowly making their way here. Um, yeah, so let's take a look at our inventory in our warehouse here. So, as you can see, there's lots of different items to collect. We just dropped off all these items. Let's uh, send them back out again. Just back out to the car, continue salvaging. We can tell him to focus on certain items. So if we cl click this box here, I think that means that he would focus on that item. Yeah, so if it's unticked, I'll gather whatever is nearby. Uh, if we click an item, they'll focus on trying to find that stuff. But as you can see, we got building supplies up here. We got food and drink. So well water, dew water, fruit and veg. Let's just uh, get our guy back at working again. We got some butchered meat, salvaged bottled water, salvaged tin food, salvaged military rations. We got manufactured items, miscellaneous items. Okay, so while he's doing that, let's just slow this down a little bit here. And we should probably start building some structures. What will we need first? We got a weaponsmith, guard tower, a decorative shrub. This is all kind of for morale. Storehouse, repair shack, storehouse, scavenger's hut. Let's make one of these. So we'll want somewhere where people can go and scavenge from. We'll just put it right by this place. I think. I'm not sure. Can we rotate this? Yes, we can. All right. So let's face that there. Let's drop off the items, and then we can help build this. Our people should be pretty close now. Oh yeah, we got some people who are dropping off here. Uh, this guy is just chilling. Not sure why he's just hanging out there. Oh yeah, we got some dead bodies there. The kids are passing by the dead bodies now. So we gotta get the survivors taken care of as soon as possible. He's coming back with all his supplies here to drop off. We'll get him working on this scavenger's hut right away. Then we can hire some permanent scavengers. So let's lend a hand. Start working on that. Take a look at our inventory here. So we got uh, 21 salvaged metal. I think we used the rest of the stuff to make uh, this scavenger's hut here. My god, it takes these guys a long time to walk here. I've been here! I've been here for almost a month by myself. At least a couple weeks. While well, these guys take their time. Pick up the pace. Jog. So today we're primarily going to be focused on just getting a, uh, a base camp set up. The start of our our new town. Now, does it say how much stuff we have here left? Doesn't really tell us. All right. Well, scavenger set it's almost built. We'll get a couple people working in there right away. Okay. So, employ workers. There we go. So let's just pause this while we read. One of the most important buildings you can make workers at the scavenger's hut will roam the wasteland for useful construction supplies and consumables. 
they will slowly empty a ruin of all available loot and move their searches elsewhere. You can order scavengers to focus on a particular resource by opening the storehouse menu and ticking what you need most. Alright, so we, we already kind of figured that out ourselves. Let's go into our storehouse. Let's focus on getting some lumber. And... Let's see... Oh, we can only focus on one thing at a time. So let's focus on lumber, because we're going to need to build a few things here. And we're going to send our guy back out to scavenge here. Uh, no focused resources inside. Disabled scavenger focus. Alright, so there's no wood in there, I guess. I guess that, that, that's what that means. Oh, I guess there's nothing in there. Hold on. Yeah, so there's there's nothing in there? What, what if I... Hold on. Let's just double check. Turn that off. Um, turn that on. Scavenge. Okay, so there's just no lumber in there. Speed things up. Um, actually, we should look at what we need for homes. Uh, basic shack is probably our best bet right now. Cheapest, yeah. So one, one, one. So we need some masonry, some metal, and some lumber. Now we can probably find some masonry in one of these buildings, yeah. Uh, so we've got masonry, metal, lumber inside the building there. Oh, we've got some tools. That's good. And over here, metal, lumber in the truck, some batteries. We get some lumber from that telephone pole. Okay, so I think we'll start scavenging this house next. Oh, we've got some military rations and some tinned food. Oh, that was a pretty good... Uh, Scavenge. Let's go drop the stuff off. That guy is so much faster than everyone. Down here, we got all our levels for the community, so we are getting low on water. We'll have to figure out how to get more water here. So, let's see. We got a dew collector. We should probably build one of those. Right away. We don't have enough resources. Okay. So we need to get the resources before we can put the blueprint down. What did you pick up here? We got lots of salvaged metal. Got a little bit of food. Alright, let's send him over to the house, get some masonry materials. We can convert that building later, maybe. These people are just hanging out over here. I was like, don't be, don't be all suicidal and just jump off the, the cliff there. Where are they going? Just take, taking in the view, I guess. Uh, this game is in early access, so um, expect there to be some glitches like humans morphing into each other. A cannibal. Jesus. Yeah, I'd say that's a personal issue. Alright, get some lumber, some masonry. Good. Good, good. And these people who are walking away, these should be the scavengers. Uh, going to salvage shipping container. Yeah. Alright. Cool. Let's drop our stuff off. Who is this? 42 year old suicidal. Oh man, we got a few suicidal people in our camp. Alright, hustle back with our materials. Where's the shipping container they're going to? Is it down here? Jesus. That's a long way away. You'd think there's some uh, other stuff closer. I guess the shipping container has a higher chance of having lumber? Yeah, so lumber is first in that queue, so that must mean that that's what's most likely in that item, I guess, and that's why they're going there. 
Okay, uh, let's just continue salvaging this house. And we have got... How much material now? Five, eight, yeah, so we got enough to start building some other structures. Let's make that dew collector right away. It's rather big. Let's just put it back here. We'll get that built. We should make our first home. A basic shack. Building a basic shack will provide a communal shelter for several people. Survivors might not like living so close together in cramped conditions, but it's better than being homeless. Restores 50 rest per day and capacity for 15 people. We do have 37 people, so we'll need at least a couple of these. So let's set up some homes over here. We'll do a couple. I'm sure a couple more people will die by, by the time these are done. And put that one right there. Okay, drop off our loot. How are these people doing down here? Have they even made it down there yet? Oh my god. They're so slow. They're over here still. Perhaps this wasn't the best map to choose. <laughs> okay, our dew collector is being built rather quickly. Right now that's our most pressing need, food and water. Uh, we lost another person, we're down to 36 survivors. So I'm gonna just have our hero, our leader, continue salvaging from that building. Eventually we'll get some stuff from this shipping container. Alright. This is up and running. Let's employ some workers there. Use the buttons below to control how many workers you want in this building. The more demand there is for this building, the more workers will be required. Gather dew from the air and fog vapors. It may take a long time for the tank to fill, but there will be plenty to go around when the time comes. Produces 10 dew water per cycle. Time to produce 12 days. Okay. Maybe we should make another one? Should we make two? Let's start getting some of the other basics, I guess. We'll probably need a bathroom. Without latrine, citizens will be forced to urinate and defecate in the streets. We don't want that, so let's go ahead and build one of these. Uh, maybe just by our homes. Just off to the side, back here somewhere. There we go. Gotta keep our people busy. Enter town leader mode and help repair. Oh, it needs repairs. Does it tell us what condition it is? Oh, good. Interesting. All right, where's our where's our guy? Are you uh, are you full? You must be full. Hold on, let's get him to drop this stuff off here. Slowly coming together. And did these people grab stuff? Yeah, they're heading back. This guy has found. Wow, that whole time for one item each. I'm highly disappointed in your ability to scavenge. Oh, I thought the guy was dead. He is very pale. What are you, a vampire? Uh, he has pride. He's a proud gay man. Good to see. Alright, uh, all-star house is full. Ooh, okay. Storage capacity used 60 of 60. We have a ton of salvaged metal. Uh, can we build, let's see if we can build another storehouse. Where were these storehouses here? Giant storehouse. Don't have enough salvaged lumber for that. We do have one for just a regular storehouse. 
Then a builder's yard. Workers at a builder's yard will take on the role of engineers and help construct any buildings that you place. Well, I think we need a storehouse first and foremost. Unless we can upgrade this. Doesn't look like we can. Okay, so let's build another storehouse here. Um, it's a lot smaller. How much does this thing hold? Oh god, didn't mean to do that. Uh, boop. Hopefully that didn't use up supplies. Uh, storehouse. Oh, add 60 storage slots. Okay, so that's about the same. Uh, where can I put this? Where will this fit? I can put it back in here. Yeah, let's do that there. All right. And you, my friend, lend a hand here, building that. So we don't have any food. They've gone through the food. Uh, we are low, very low on water. So where, is there anywhere else we can search that has water? Way out here? I mean, we did find some food in here. I guess we should probably start searching for that. Let's um, change our priority here to search for water. Salvage water. Let's focus on that. Yeah. Because this thing takes 12 days to make something. Well, it's almost got some water here. It might be just in time before we get to the uh, the death line. I think we're going to just dip below. But we have our first home. That's good. And we have a latrine. And we have our second house. Okay. And we have our storehouse. Okay, looks like we got some more people moving in, too. So, let's send our guy. Is there anything down this thing? No. Let's send our guy back out to the car. To salvage that. And we will take a look at this. So, we have 120 units available now. Should last us another couple months. Oh, we have a dead, dead body. Is there a, um, is there like a, a morgue or something? First aid tent, hospital, chemist, crematory. I think we want this. We need more salvaged lumber, though. Employees of the crematory will pick up corpses and carry them back to be burned. Burning dead bodies helps keep your town plague free. Yeah, so we do need that. All right. Continue on. Let go of my character. Ah, god damn it. Alright, salvage. Let go of my character. Yeah, we got a uh, we got some corpses all over the place here. I'm sure that's not helping with morale. We're down to twenty eight people. Perhaps we should be doing another scavenger shack too? Just keep get more people out in the wasteland looking for stuff? I found some masonry in the car. Apparently. Alright, I need some lumber. Um, I think we're okay for water, so let's focus on lumber, I guess. I have a feeling I might have a disease breaking out here soon. Our, although our health is not in the worst condition. Not in the worst condition right there. Where's our guy? He's still scavenging. Oh, he did find some water. Nice. Oh, actually, continue scavenging. Sorry, I interrupted you. Uh, okay, go home. Drop this stuff off. And looks like we got some more people coming to join us. Oh, 
wish I could tell my people to focus scavenging on something. On one, one thing. Alright. Now, do we have enough to make a crematorium? Uh, we have two. How much did it take? Was it three? It's three. So we need one more. We need one more. Well, we could probably get it from this light, uh, this telephone pole. Yeah, like I can't really tell people to focus looting this. Unfortunately, I don't think there's any option for that. No. I don't think so. Well, let's get this lumber quickly and we'll make our crematorium and then, uh... Hopefully between a crematorium and our latrine, we'll be able to... Avoid any outbreaks. There we go, salvage lumber. There we go, lots of salvage lumber for this telephone pool. That's what we want. Okay. Let's drop this off. Hustle back. A messenger arrives. While you are hard at work, a small group of strangers enters the town. You've seen many unusual people since leaving the bunker, but this group stands out. The other citizens seem nervous of them and keep their distances. Are they cannibals? I feel like they might be cannibals. It appears the strangers are slaves as their eyelids have been removed. Yeah, Jesus Christ. And their wrists are shackled together, yet they appear confident, even arrogant. They claim to be the voice of the true ruler and tell you, this is not your land. The true ruler of this area has one law. All settlements that seek to grow above 200 souls or last a full of three years will be considered a threat. They must submit. This is all they will tell you. You try to invite them in, but they are simply they simply walk back into the wasteland and fade away. Your people are alarmed. There have been rumors of a tyrant out there far away. Perhaps you will meet this person one day. We are 80 days in and we are being threatened not to grow above 200 people or last more than three years. Well, I guess we got three years to uh, gather up enough resources to defend ourselves. Hustle back, Nomis. We gotta make this crematorium. There's a lot of dead bodies around camp. Okay, dropped off. We should have the required materials on hand to build our crematorium. And yeah, let's just put this maybe away from from the peeps. Let's put it down there. And let's lend a hand. Boom. Let's get this thing built. Everyone is so slow in this game. I wonder if like the healthier your people are, the faster they'll move. Oh, we're up to 45 people now. There's a cap of 350 people though. For population. We built a quarter of this ourselves before everyone arrived. I kind of like the uh, the building progress. I'm gonna put up the scaffolding first. And start building the actual structure. Although the structure goes up quite fast and they just take down <laughs> the scaffolding. Anyway, I kind of like those little details in these games. Right, there's a little bit of progress over time. Alright, so we're going to make sure to get someone employed here right away. Uh, let's just wait for it to finish here. Okay, let's... It takes four people, okay. Let's employ everyone. We have the people. We have 47 people living here now. We appear to be doing somewhat of a good job. Uh, we're low on food, though. We're low on food. Do we need to try and make something that makes food? A greenhouse. Time to produce 20 days. I may have left this a little late. Livestock. Okay, so the greenhouse. Attempt to cultivate fresh fruit and vegetables under cover. And the, the livestock ranch rearing livestock for the slaughter provides a lot more satisfying meals for your citizens. So that takes 60 days to produce. 20 days to produce. So we'll probably go and end up going with the greenhouse just because food is a bit of a priority right now. But I think we'll leave that for the next episode. 
Thanks a lot for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoy this little intro to Atomic Society, the post-apocalyptic town builder. I think we'll have some fun with this. Not sure how long the series will go, but as always, hit that like button, leave me some comments down below, and let me know what you guys think. And until next time, I'll talk to you all later.